Hey. My little campsite. My hammock bed all set up. Oh, I guess I need to tighten the ropes. Not supposed to do that. Should be more like that. Now, inside here. Is that like that? There we go. Yeah, I'll fix it later. My kitchen. My other kitchen. Stick stove all ready for tonight. I'm gonna try to uh, make some moose and stuff on it instead of uh, doing it up on the fire. A lot, a lot less wood when you use a stick stove than when you're using the fireplace. Anyhow, only one in the lake, only campsite on the lake. It's late afternoon, a little overcast. Bugs are starting to get bad. Looking down the lake. And then I'm down in this nice little bay. Where I've got this wonderful rock. I'm going to take a bath later tonight down there in the shallows. Try to get some of this bug juice and sun lotion and everything else off me. I feel kind of gross. I've become too civilized. And found an easier landing spot for the canoe down in there. Whereas it was over on the, the point here before. But I didn't like the way the, uh, the rocks and the sticks and logs and everything else that was down there. Anyhow, plan is to make some supper. It's 5 p.m. Make some supper around 6. Be done eating by 7. And I'm going to go out and try... Fishing one last time before I uh, call it a night. Won't have time in the morning. I'm going to hit the road, I think, as quick as I can in the morning. Avoid as many of the bugs as I can on the portages. And get my butt home for a nice shower. Clean up. Some sleep. Uh, and that'll be it for me now, probably until, uh, until July. Because uh, the bugs are going to get worse and worse and worse for the next couple weeks. Beautiful site. Absolutely beautiful site. It's a good spot to come to. It's just a pain in the ass to get here. It's the two portages. 750 and about 400 on the other one. And they're hard as hell to find as well. But I'm not very good at reading maps either, so <laughs> partially my own fault. Alright, check you later. So my first time cooking with the stick stove. We'll see how this turns out. This time I did not bring a gas stove. And I always make coffee with this and I boil my water. But I've never actually tried to cook with it. So we'll see. So this is my specialty thanks to Richard. This is uh, potatoes, carrots, and bottled moose. So once the potatoes and the carrots are done, we'll put the, uh, the bottled moose in. I would take it off, but the last thing I want to do is spill any of this, so you'll see it when it's finished. Bye. And the carrots and the potatoes cooking. And then we'll add the moose once those are finished. I'm not a pro like some of these YouTuber friends of mine. But I do what I can. <laughs> and it tastes damn good. Problem with the stick stove is you gotta be, as you can see, I got a ton of flame going there now. And in two minutes from now I'll have no flame. So 
you got to kind of pay attention to what's going on. So either I'm going to burn the hell out of this, or it'll turn out absolutely perfect. Time will tell. So, moose meat's been added from the bottled moose. So that's preserved moose meat mixed in with the carrots and potatoes on the little stick stove. And you're probably thinking to yourself, my God, he's going to eat that whole thing. Uh, no, not tonight. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm making a big batch. Normally I feed two people with this, but I'm by myself. Ryan, you're missing out. Anyhow, uh, this will simmer now. Add all the flavors to it. Be like a nice, sort of like a stew. And then some of it I'm going to save uh, for tomorrow morning. I'll warm it up in the morning and have it for breakfast before I head out on the uh, portages. Instead of messing around with pancakes or eggs and bacon and all that kind of stuff. I'll have this and I have a, an Italian sausage left over from last night as well. Uh, so I'll have that for the morning. Quick little warm up with my uh, cup of coffee. And we'll be out of here. Oh man, this smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. Wish I would have had a trout though. Didn't catch a trout yet. Maybe tonight. So maybe I'll be cooking fish in the morning, but we'll see. The way my uh, my fishing has been going, it's pretty unlikely. Anyhow, that's bottled moose done on a stick stove. My style. <coughs> All right, I've had enough of the bugs. I'm going home. <coughs> I'm even swallowing the buggers. Nasty, nasty, nasty. <coughs> Beautiful campsite. Ugh. Wrong time of year. I don't know why I come up here in June. Please come up in June. Uh, my two day taste of bugs. And that's it, I won't be out now until July or August. Man, oh man, brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Anyhow, no breakfast because I didn't bother. It took me almost two hours to pack up as it was. That's enough for me. Whew. It's working beautifully. I got two portages ahead of me, 400 meter and 750. <coughs> oh, Swallowed a bug. <coughs> if I forgot anything back there, I can stay. Portages are going to be buggy. Oh, I can just tell. Tell already. Not a breeze. Not that there's ever any in the woods anyway. But it didn't get cold enough last night. Knock them down. They're buzzing around the hammock all night. Not buzzing alone. Enough to keep me awake. But let's get these done. Go home. Have a nap. trips one with the canoe <coughs> and a pack and the other one just a pack <coughs> put my boots on <coughs> take a drink of water get hydrated now how did I do this earlier Hmm. I'm 
sure the flies are waiting for me. Beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. Rigged for the portage. And then I'll be back and do it again. Now I gotta dry my feet off, get my shoes on, cover myself in bug dope, put my bug hat on, and get the first load done. It's a lot of work. There's some days I question why I do this. Anyhow, more later. And this is why I don't camp in Algonquin in June. Look at the mosquitoes. Holy cow. What a terrible day for bugs. It's almost dead calm. It's overcast. And I'm the only fresh meat on the trail. Holy cow. Ah. I gotta get on the water and get away from these things. Woo! Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's go! Start the car! Woo. Start the car! Hope I got everything. <laughs> I didn't, the bugs can have it. It's this type of shit that keeps people from going with me. This will be my last trip for a little while. I can't deal with this. Whew. Oh. Under my life jacket. Oh. Perfect day for bugs.
That was nice. Those who have never portaged before, will be of a treat. Idea, anyhow. Away we go. 750 meters. Yeah. Okay. See how bad the bugs are in here. And I bet they're pretty bad. I gotta say though, this boat's a lot nicer to portage than my other one. Even with the paddles, the yoke, and a backpack on, and a life jacket, it's not bad. The yoke's not the most comfortable thing on the shoulders, but I've seen a, a hack, hack, <laughs> do it yourself thing. Using one of those airline pillows, Camper Christina. I'm showing them off. I'm gonna pick one up and give it a try. And then that way I've got a pillow when I'm in the bush as well. Although, doing this, I'll probably get covered in bug juice and sweat. But if they're three bucks at the dollar store, what the hell? Throw it away when you're done. Sir, you have had enough. 